James Bond is one of the most legendary franchises the world has ever seen, but almost everything also has its ups and downs, and so does the James Bond franchise. In fact, there were three big moments where the franchise really could have killed itself. So these are the three Bond films that saved the franchise. 3. The Spy Who Loved Me The first kinda down period for James Bond after Sean Connery's big success was when Roger Moore was acting as the spy. Although Roger's performances in Live and Let Die and The Man with the Golden Gun were pretty good ones, it did lack the unique punch that fans anticipated from a Bond film. And this was a serious problem, neither of the two films were well received by critics or got a lot of attention. And then The Spy Who Loved Me was presented, three years after The Man with the Golden Gun. And it really lifted up to the expectations, with a Bond that had a lot of self-confidence and with non-stop action. The plot had high stakes, Bond had a dazzling automobile which could transform into a submarine, and Bond himself appeared in the film's incredible pre-title scene, which also featured a great stunt. 2. Goldeneye After Roger Moore retired from the role, it was up to Timothy Dalton to play Bond. But Dalton's two films The Living Daylights and License to Kill were both commercial failures. Combined with Dalton struggling to win over the audience, so a change was needed, and six years later, GoldenEye was released, and it was exactly what the franchise needed. Audiences were given the best of GoldenEye, which featured an intriguing plot set during the conclusion of the Cold War and a fantastic cast, including some of the greatest villains and Bond girls to ever appear in a James Bond movie. And lastly, number one, Casino Royale. Although Pierce Brosnan's last film, Die Another Day, is not a bad film or anything, in fact, it became one of the best Bond films at the box office. The formula for Bond's success was starting to slow down, plus director Lee Tomahori wanted to make it more appealing for younger viewers. The series became more outdated slash sexistic, so four years after Die Another Day, Casino Royale came out. And the respond of Casino Royale was a more grounded, mature, and compelling Bond film, which not only reinvented Bond, but also proved that Bond can be successful in the 21st century. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget that you're amazing.